Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 25281. This build announces some new features and some new improvements to the Windows 11 operating system, which are quite exciting, and of course fixes for known issues that we've had in previous builds. In this video, we're gonna talk about all of those, so if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before starting the video, Video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by KeysOff.com. KeysOff.com offers Windows Office and other tools licenses at a very favorable price. For example, you can get the Windows 10 Pro license for just $7 by using the coupon code TB50, and you can also upgrade for free to Windows 11 by using the coupon code TB50. You can also get Windows 11 Pro for just $13. Office licenses have even a better discount with 62% off by using the coupon code TB62. Check out the Great prices from keysoff.com and the links from the description below and don't forget to apply the coupon codes. Thank you to keysoff.com for the sponsorship. Let's continue with the video. First of all, in this build, Microsoft is improving the Windows Spotlight and they are beginning to try out different treatments for how the Windows Spotlight looks. To enable Windows Spotlights, just right click on your desktop, click on Personalize, and then on you can choose the Windows Spotlight theme, and then you can go to Background and select from Personalize your background with Windows Spotlight. And after you've applied the Windows Spotlight theme or Background, you'll be able to see the new Spotlight UI by right clicking on the icon that should appear on the desktop and then learning more about the picture. In my case, it is a little bit bugged, I don't have it, but of course, this is a temporary bug. And of course, Insider is in the dev channel will see different treatments so not everyone will have the same treatment and the treatments for the new spotlight will include richer UI around displaying the title and description and learning more information about the image displayed on your desktop via spotlight and also they are trying out different ways of switching to different pictures and previews a full screen experience and a minimized experience of course later on I'm gonna make a different video in which I'm gonna show you how to enable this different UI maybe I'm gonna show you how to enable different UIs for this new spotlight UI and of course I'm gonna show you how each and every variant looks. Another new feature and an interesting update in this build is that we have the new notepad with tabs in Windows 11, which looks pretty interesting. Of course, this is at the beginning of development. I think this is not really centered or I don't think that this has the right proportions, but maybe that's how it's supposed to look. And basically you have tabs for the notepad and you can type different things in different tabs, which is pretty interesting. And as you can see, the tab name will include the first letters or the first lines that you write onto that specific tab. As I've said, Microsoft is aware that there could still be bugs because this is the first preview that we have for this but it looks really nice and of course if we right click on a tab we have the new tab option close tab close other tabs close tab to close tabs to the right and also if I open a different notepad window I should be able to move it into the existing window I think that is pretty pretty cool so let me know below in the comments what you think about this new feature if you still don't have it make sure to go into the Microsoft Store go into library then click on get updates and if you're lucky enough you should get it if this is not rolling out to all in Saturday I'm gonna make a different video in which I'll show you how to install it manually so don't worry about that but again you should be able to get it if you update all the apps through the Microsoft Store another new addition in this build is for the settings app and basically the settings display and then graphics down below was changed to match the Windows 11 experience and as you can see Microsoft made a few improvements with the buttons and also how these sections look basically the functionality of these is the same but the visual appearance is different it matches the Windows 11 design principle principles and I think that is pretty cool. And of course you have the optimizations for windowed games and also advanced graphic settings which looks pretty interesting. And also when removing a paired Bluetooth device from settings, Bluetooth and devices, it will no longer pop up a prompt to confirm before removing it. Basically these are all the biggest improvements and changes in this build and I think this is pretty nice. The new notepad with tabs, the new spotlight UI and the settings changes. Now let's talk about some fixes in this build regarding the taskbar and system tray. Microsoft updated the printer icon in the system tray when printing something so it better aligns with the other modern icons. When navigating the taskbar using Windows plus T and arrow keys, the position of the app icon should now be called out by the narrator. For example, File Explorer might say 1 out of 15 if it's in the first position and there are 15 app icons on your taskbar. Regarding the File Explorer, they updated the error dialog when network discovery is off so it points to the correct location to enable it, as you can see here. And also, they fixed an explorer.exe crash which could happen when closed 
closing file explorer. Regarding the settings app, they fixed an issue where SSID wasn't being populated on the properties page for your Wi-Fi in network and internet settings. Also, in the scenario where you prompted with the UAC dialog when switching the network between private and public, that UAC dialog should now come to the foreground rather than being behind other windows. And also, regarding the quick settings, they fixed an issue where quick settings might not be able to reopen after going to the Wi-Fi section and then closing the flyout. Regarding windowing, right-clicking a snap group in task queue and selecting show this group on all desktops shouldn't crash explore.exe anymore. And we also have some other fixes. They fixed an issue where narrator wasn't announcing when the app mentions window popped up in Outlook. They fixed an issue that could cause some app uninstalls to get stuck and fail the uninstall in the last few builds. They fixed an issue which was causing the Windows Print Queue window to crash sometimes in recent builds. And also they fixed an issue which could cause SQL Server Management Studio to fail to launch. And basically this is all there is to it in this build. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a comment below stating your opinion on the new improvements and the new changes. And if you like this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.